I've been spending all morning going through my vlogs. I went through probably about a year and a half's worth so far. I have 120 something vlogs and I think I got up to 70. Um, so I want to finish t deleting the rest of the keywords or tags from those because I don't want them to delete the vlogs. That's what I care about the most. And then it's going to be impossible for me to do all of these hundreds of videos for the past two years that I've been putting the tags in the description um, in like a day with all the things that I have to do with getting ready for Vegas, the meetup, um, just trying to prioritize and just I've come to terms with it. It is what it is. I'm pissed off and wish they would have just given a warning or just deleted a few videos. But I don't want to get any strikes on my account. I don't want to lose my account. So I'm going to have to go at it step by step. So first things first is the vlogs and then I'll work on, well first I did was the um, most, view, most viewed videos yesterday and then now today I want to focus on uh, fixing the vlogs and then I'm going to upload, re-upload all my Disney vlogs today, hopefully, or tomorrow, or set it live tomorrow. Because I have three videos that needed to go live this weekend and it didn't happen. Um, just a major step back in all the things I have to do for this week but you know I what can I do I just have to deal with it and um, you know just take the loss so yeah so it's a little bit frustrating but that's what I'm trying to do right now and this battery is dying already my gosh it has been one thing after the other the past few weeks and I don't want to sound ungrateful because I have to see the brighter side of every situation. So Brian called me while I was at work and dropping off Emlyn and he got into a car accident, but he was okay. Of course, I freaked out and immediately said, are you okay? And so he said he was fine and that this guy hit him from behind really bad and that the guy's car got totaled. If I could show you guys. Yeah, so that's the guy's car. And um, the back of our car wasn't that bad. I don't want to show it because then it's going to show our um, license plate. But maybe I can cover it. Yeah, ours is not that bad. It's emotional because, of course, that's many people's fear. God forbid anything happens to your significant other or your kids or yourself anybody and I feel like I've been having a lot of these moments lately where I'm like venting to you guys and, and there's just like so much going on this past month that like I feel like oh my god I'm so crying I know I feel like I'm being tested I just can't I can't like catch a break like Every time there's one situation thrown at me, I go through the emotions of it and then try to resolve it or try to move on from it and just try to better it. And then just when I have that moment of clarity and like, okay, now this is what I have to do to move forward through this issue. And as I'm moving forward and thinking everything's okay, then something else happens. And then it's the same cycle again. And then it's like this whole big mental, emotional process. You know, despite whatever the situation is, I just feel like there's just been multiple situations that have been happening this past month and a half that have just been like weighing so heavy on me. And I'm just trying not to get so caught up in it and so like down and depressed and like having anxiety, like I used to, like back before I would get so anxious about even the littlest things that it would just bring me down into a dark place. And I feel like the moment I stop talking about what's bothering me or the moment I stop talking to people or venting to anybody, that's the moment that I know or that anybody that I'm close to would know that I've gone down that dark 
space again and I don't want to go there because I have my kids to take care of and they need me and I have to be you know you have to be mommy has to be the strong one and like the rock of the group and you know like I give so much credit to like all mothers and my mother and Brian's mother and grandmothers because you never know what life will throw at you and I don't want to sound like I'm being ungrateful because I feel like despite whatever situations I've been going through it could always be so much worse so you have to always see the bright side in every situation no matter how trying it is or how challenging it is or how confusing it is so I'm just just thankful and if this had to happen for me just to realize to see you know the brighter side in all of what's been going on this month then then maybe that's the reason maybe sometimes you get caught up in daily <sighs> daily stresses or daily daily things that you make it starts to seem like the, the little things are a big deal but they're really not and that I'm really like holding back like not bawling here but, like you really for you to really appreciate everything you have to I don't know I feel like when things like this happen that you have to open your eyes to the brighter side of it all and as hard as it is maybe that's why certain things happen for to wake you up and to appreciate life and appreciate your family no I'm not the only one I know there's probably some of you that are going through stuff too and just know that there's always going to be somebody there for you whether it's family or a friend or YouTube friends or just anybody in your life you are not alone no matter what the situation is so I just been I feel really compelled to just share my emotions while I'm going through it because maybe it would help somebody watching or maybe you're going through something too so yeah happy Tuesday so thankfully Brian is okay he was in a little bit of pain he said though he was sore in his back and his like her shoulder like from the right side of his like neck to shoulder and stuff so I was hoping he would go to the emergency room this morning or um, or to go to the doctor just so we can just be sure to be safe. So he insisted that he was okay, he wasn't that bad, it wasn't worse. So I don't know, I'm hoping he goes tomorrow. But I'm hoping it doesn't get worse, but um, I would just like to be safe. So yeah. So today is a new day and it's nice weather. It's actually hot and just counting our blessings. So I spent most of the morning, I don't think I vlogged at all, but I spent most of the morning um, doing all the correspondence and stuff for our meetup, like all of our itinerary and guest lists and, you know, the format for the name tags and just following up with you know what stuff we have from the sponsors we're still missing a few things most of the things got shipped to Jeannie in California and um, Kat in Vegas since I can only take so much with me on the um, in our luggage something actually got shipped to me by accident but thankfully it's not that heavy and there's like two things that got shipped to me but it's not it won't take up that much space um, so I got a lot done today with that. I was thinking if I was gonna film, but yeah, that didn't happen. So since I finished the majority of that stuff and I could actually finalize that Thursday and Friday, um, I'll film tomorrow. I need to film a bunch of videos just so I have it and I could 
hopefully edit some on the plane and edit some while we're there. And I need to buy a new external because apparently my external is not formatted for my Mac and I can't transfer files from it, from the Mac to the external. And my PC is shot. Like it doesn't turn, it turns on, but I can't see anything anymore on that second monitor. But anyway, I'm going to bring the girls to work today because there is uh, studio um, run-throughs for the recital today and tomorrow. And I didn't want to bring Dylan because I know it's going to be crowded and he'll get restless because we're there till like 9, 9.30. I'll have to pick up food for us to eat, but I'm here in line for the girls to pick them up from school. Good morning. Happy? What's today, Mia? Wednesday. Wednesday, right. What do you have today? My concert. Okay, Malia's dressed up because she has her concert. I'm going to go at the 10 o'clock show. Come on, Emily. Go in the car. It's our last day driving the Hyundai Santa Fe. They're picking it up today, although I don't know what time. I have to check my email because we have the concert at 10. There's another concert at 2, but I'm going to be watching baby Emmy and she's going to come to the concert with us. Emmy's gonna come to the concert, Mia. Who's with us? Baby Emmy. And Daddy and Daddy, we're gonna go see Malia's concert. So I just got this package Although I knew what was in it because I saw Jeannie unbox hers on Snapchat like a week ago. But it's a Pine Block Charity Invitational Entry. They send you this pine card to build and then with a shipping label you have to send it back to them and choose uh, where you want to donate to. So now I just picked up the girls from school and Dylan is actually coming with us today. I hope he behaves. Are you going to behave, Dylan? Dylan. He's acting up. Anyway, um, I had to pick up McDonald's for them because we're gonna be there till late, and um, I'm not gonna have time to like go out and get them something to eat. So that was on the way, and I know it's not healthy, but yeah, Malia had both of her concerts today. I was able, I didn't vlog it, but I was um, Snapchatting it that I was able to film. Um, after Emmy left, I was able to film four videos, like three videos and an intro. Um, I didn't have time to change, so I'm like wearing the same thing in all the videos, but whatever. Um, hopefully I can edit that maybe on the plane or when we're at Vegas or before. So yeah, we got all the stuff. They have to do homework there. They have their dance bags there. We have the food. We even brought like food there that my dad cooks shrimp and rice but it wasn't enough because one is already done. So this is for later. And I have my iced coffee. I need iced coffee. It's gonna be a long day. It's 5 30 almost and I didn't vlog at all today. I'm going I'm not showing myself because I look crazy. Um we're going to Target to exchange this Swiffer wet jet and then um get my medicine and yeah so Malia and Dylan are with me guys be good Malia and Dylan are with me and um, Emily stayed home she's sleeping because she's really burnt out from rehearsals I think yesterday and the day before and coming home late and sleeping late um, she was really cranky after homework and I told her to go upstairs and she fell asleep so no dance class for her today I think she needs to rest and um, I'm gonna take these two and just take care of a bunch of errands uh, that I won't get to do tomorrow or Saturday before we leave. I'm so livid at this Target, at this Starbucks and this Target. Livid. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed at this freaking Starbucks. I was ordering something and the kids were not sitting in their seats there because the lady in front of us had like a long, 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 long list of orders. So naturally the kids were getting restless and they got down. And they were like just a few feet away from me by the display of the coffees. And I guess Dylan touched it, but he didn't remove anything. And all of a sudden, the lady just screams out, 
did you put the coffee back? And I was like, excuse me? You didn't steal anything. <laughs> How dare you talk to a child like that? You know, you're, it's not your child. Like you have, if you think my kids did something, tell me. And, I was, and then she comes around and then starts fixing up something that was knocked over, which they didn't touch. She starts taking garbage out of the basket where the coffee was, which was not their garbage. And I'm like, really? Do you want to look at the footage of, of them that they didn't take anything? It's like, I don't need you scolding my child. That's for me to do. If you have something to say, you say it to me. You ask me. And she goes, oh, I didn't know you were the parent. Mm, dummy. At that point, I already raised my voice so loud she probably was embarrassed because I, I got mad at her. I mean, it's one thing if my child did something wrong. I mean, yeah, they touched something, but it's like... You're not, you, you, you're a customer, you're not allowed to touch anything. Yeah, they're kids, but they weren't like messing with it or breaking it. They were just looking at it and touched it and didn't, didn't remove anything. And because just because they were by the door, she has the nerve to say, oh, did you put the coffee back? Like screaming at them. I'm like, I don't like you yelling at my child. I don't, she goes, all I said was, excuse me. No, you didn't just say, excuse me. You scolded my child when that's not for you to do. You need to tell me. Oh, I didn't know you were the parent. You didn't know I was the parent. Okay. Okay. So she, all she did was just look at me and say, oh, I'm sorry. Nordstrom. Got the um, Alex and Harry bracelets because my best friend's birthday is in June. Let me get her a gift. So I picked. Okay, Dylan. I picked a few gifts for Vegas. So we just got some. We tried to look in Claire's and there was nothing there. So they wanted pretzel, nuggets with cheese. No, we gotta go straight this way. And a large lemonade. That's my favorite, is the lemonade. Last stop of the night. Marshalloops. Happy Friday. I just came from picking up the girls. I actually didn't vlog at all today. I did a few Snapchats, but I was watching Baby Emmy and I was doing laundry. I was posting uh, my videos because I couldn't save the video file to the computer because it was full. Apparently, the computer I got only has 8 GBs and it was full already. And both my externals are almost full, so I was trying to maximize what space I had. Staples. Um, just came from Staples, had all of our cards printed out, and this is the back side with all of our tags and hashtags. I didn't even think she was going to do it right away. I was going to come back, but my poor mom waiting in the car for me. Just left the nail salon. I got my pedicure. My mom's still in there getting a manicure. I'm going to do my own nails. But I'm going here now to get my eyebrows threaded. So we're eating breakfast. Mom, say hi. Hello. <laughs> we both got um, eggs over easy with home fries, I guess this is. Bacon, and we're waiting for our toast and we have coffee. Although, it's almost lunchtime. So I'm home now. Mom wanted to get donuts for the kids. Did you like the donuts, guys? Yep. And these are our Fab Kids. The Fab Kids package was on the porch when we drove in. My mom was like, oh, look, something came. And, of course, I see the pink bag. And I know that it's Fab Kids. So I just Snapchatted this. But this is Emmeline's dress pick for May with shoes again. And then Malia's dress pick. I love this, too. I love both of them. I love everything. <laughs> with the leggings and the shoes. You have to do your pedicure again. And then um, Dylan's outfit for May. And they actually sent us the wrong size for April's picks. That's why I didn't get to do a video. So I'm just going to combine all of this with April's or do some type of lookbook or something. But um, this is Malia's outfit for um, April with her pants because she had the wrong size before. It's good? Emily, try on your shoes. It's comfy. So I've been cleaning the whole time since I got back. And... I don't know what took me so long to use this, the Windex um, touch-up cleanser. Hi. <laughs> and um, I love it. I'm so big. So Kat gave this to me, but I don't know why it took me so long to use it. But um, yeah, now I'm just like folding the rest of the, the last bit of the laundry so I could finish packing. And hopefully whatever the kids are doing now, 
they keep everything clean. I don't know what they're doing now. They're put, making their own surprise eggs. That they're going to have an Easter egg hunt. Is that what you're doing, Mia? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I cleaned up everything. I had like a ton of boxes here that I had to break down. And I have to ship all of these still. Oh my gosh, I'm so slow with shipping. And then um, I had to put all of the covers back on the pillows for outside because there was like so much pollen on these pillows and one of the zippers got broken so this doesn't close anymore and i'm not good with sewing and i moved the um the old laptop over here um just so that the counter so that this counter space is more free i'm gonna actually bring the laptop with me so everything will be free up happy birthday to you Happy birthday, dear Maria. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. okay. From and Grandpa. Wow, what's that, Mia? Card, card. No, 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 card. The card is open that thing. Money in it. Wow, Mia. It looks like an iPad. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Huh? Nice. What do you thing. say? What do you say to Mom? Say and Hug. Papa? Thank you, Mommy. Hug them. That's already, I know. <laughs> Charge. Yeah. We're here do we have at, tickets um, for Six Flags? Hi, Jamie. Hi. It's it's We're here in New Brunswick. It's raining. It's raining. No, it's not. Don't leave us. Uh, yeah. We're having an outing with Jamie before we leave for um, Vegas. <laughs> no. We're, we're no. treating ourselves to boba today. Hey. Boba date. Malia, don't cross the street. <laughs> so here's our boba we got for us. We're sharing hala hala and mango lychee. Jamie's is pina colada, and this is for my mom, Taro. Yes, one for each of you. No, you can't have that. Tita Jamie bought that. Tita Jamie bought that for all of you. What do you say to Tita Jamie? Thank you. Thank you. Huh?